Hello, and welcome to this presentation, Testing Marker Beacon with the CMA180. In this presentation, you'll learn how to configure Marker Beacon signal generation on a Rodian Schwartz CMA180 radio test set. Marker beacons are part of ILS, or the Instrument Landing System. If you're not already familiar with Marker beacons, you might want to watch the presentation Understanding ILS before proceeding with this presentation. Marker beacons provide information on the distance to the runway threshold. All marker beacons transmit on the same frequency of 75 MHz, so the audio frequency and or the pattern of audio tones transmitted by the beacon can be used to distinguish between the different beacon types. There are three types of beacons, outer, middle, and inner. The names refer to their relative distances from the runway threshold. Remember that marker beacons transmit in a vertical elliptical pattern, so their signals are only received or heard when an aircraft is passing almost directly over them. Now that we've finished our review of marker beacon signals, let's show how to configure these signals on the CMA-180. Marker beacon signals are generated in avionics mode, which can be entered by simply selecting avionics from the list of available analog modes. There are four tabs under avionics, VOR, ILS, marker beacon, and analyzer. All marker beacon signal generation parameters are configured under the marker beacon tab. These parameters can be divided into two general areas. The first are the generic RF, connector, and control parameters. The second are the marker beacon specific parameters, including marker type. Let's start by looking at the general parameters. Frequency and level should be set appropriately. Remember that all marker beacons normally transmit on the same frequency of 75 MHz, regardless of type. Any gain or loss in the RF output path can be indicated using the external attenuation parameter. Either RF COM or RF OUT can be used to output the marker beacon signal. Normally, signal generation only begins when the generator or play button is pressed, but if start generator automatically is enabled, the CMA will begin transmitting the marker beacon signal as soon as a generator tab is selected. Recall that marker beacons are differentiated in part by their audio frequencies. Outer markers typically use 400 Hz. Middle markers use 1300 Hz. And inner markers use 3000 Hz. These are available as presets on the CMA180, and the frequency can also be manually specified if necessary. The info field uses circles with the standard colors to indicate which marker signal is active. Blue stands for outer marker, amber for middle marker, and white for inner marker. In summary, the CMA180 can be used to generate standard or customized marker beacon signals. When configuring marker beacons, the basic parameters are frequency, which is normally 75 MHz for all types of markers, the level, and the marker type, outer, middle, or inner. These are differentiated by the corresponding audio frequency. This concludes our short presentation, Testing Marker Beacon with a CMA180. Thanks for watching.